DJ's here, back at you with yet another DJ's Brew 2 beer review. Well, you notice I'm a little more subdued today, guys. Why is that? Because I had a shit day. And what do I do to take care of my shit day? Well, I have a workout, which I've already done, and I'm going to have me a big-ass beer for my reward after said workout and after eating said shit day. And what beer am I going to have? I'm going to have one from Goose Island Beer Company out of Chicago, Illinois, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And I'm going to have their Bourbon County brand coffee stout. Now, this is the 2013 edition, as you can see by the 2012 edition. And my past videos, you know I'm loving up on this beer. So is my buddies Johnny and Philippe. Now, just like 2012, this is a rotating serving. It's a, it's a bourbon barrel aged imperial coffee stout, 60 IBUs, and 13.4% ABV. Yeah, I'm taking it all to the dome tonight, baby. The ingredients in this Hopswise are Willamette. And as for malts, we got two row Munich chocolate caramel, um, let's see, roasted barley, and de bittered black. Same recipe as Bourbon County brand stout, but. They put a coffee addition into this, and they use Intelligentsia coffee every year, and this year they're using Los Immortales. Now, coincidence or not, I don't know, but the particular plant that the Los Immortales coffee grows on is a bourbon variety coffee tree. That's what it's called, bourbon. That's a, a really older variety. They've got a lot more robust hybrids and stuff that they use now, but this particular coffee is prized because it's got really rounded off notes and the farm that grows them leaves the coffee cherries on longer to like they're a dark burgundy color kind of like our label here so enough to do about the beer i'm ready to get this in a glass and get my drink on and erase the rest of the shit day that's right so let's see if the top will cooperate oh that's on tight oh big ass hits now you guys know of course well wow I can smell the bourbon and coffee wafting all the way from here. That's freaking awesome. You know I love collecting said crowns. And I loved this beer fresh last year. I gave it an A+. I gave it the seller to year an A. That didn't doesn't mean I didn't like it. I just gave it an A because it was missing those coffee notes. Wow, look at that, guys. Hell yes. I love Bourbon County, the variants, man. Look at that super dark black. Ain't no light getting through that any part of the glass. At 13.4%, we've got... A finger ahead of super tight, really, really dark brown bubbles. Man, that's awesome. It's not the darkest that I've seen, but that's gorgeous. And also displayed in our lovely matching Goose Island glass. Wow. Gorgeous beer. Looks beautiful every time. And this head that this creates just amazes me. Look at that glass lacing. Instant glass lacing. Freaking caramel coats the glass with alcohol legs and beer. That's awesome. i got to get my nose in this because I'm ready to drink. Let's see what the aroma's about. Whoa, big ass dark roasted coffee after that you're getting bourbon right after it then dark fruits and chocolate mm, toffee and caramel leather a bit of coconut wow nice coconut mm. but that coffee is big and the and the chocolate is dark ass chocolate too man like 70 percent cacao i'm getting some char and smoke from the barrel man that bourbon is just like sweet and juicy man and so many layers of flavor in these beers, man. Bourbon County, the base beer that they built, they built this on is just the freaking bomb diggity. It's made for barrel aging, and it just gets the fucking job done. I'm, I gotta have a drink of this, guys. Cheers. Salute. Whatever you want to say. Oh damn. Wow. Glass is totally coated. That is freaking delicious. Right up front, you get punched with coffee. Like dark, just roasted Starbucks, man. I just got me an espresso at Starbucks. Really dark, deep roasted coffee, but it doesn't have like acidic tones or anything like you've sipped that coffee because the, the sweetness of the beer, the malts are there. The alcohol is totally hidden in the taste like it was in the aroma. It's thick and coating in the mouthfeel. You feel a little warmth in the chest, but hell, it's 13.4%. What, what do you expect? But, man, there's dark fruits in there, chocolate. And when I'm talking here, the aftertaste is of, like, really dark chocolate, like I was saying, like 70% cacao chocolate, but, like, really high-quality stuff. And there's also a bit of smoky char in there, too, and caramel. Man, so many layers of flavor in this beer. There's coconut, a bit of leather, tobacco. Wow. You know what? I'm going to let this warm up. And I'm going to drink this down, and I'm going to come back and give you some, some final thoughts, because there's more layers of flavor. I want to dig through this, and I don't want to rush it. I'll be back in a few few minutes while I drink this down and forget this day, and we'll be back in a flash. 
Hey guys, I'm back. You can see I got my happy face on, man. Something about Bourbon County that just helps take this stress away. I don't know if it's it's not the alcohol, because I haven't jammed this down. I still got a little tiny bit left in the bottle. I've been sipping on this bad boy for like 45 minutes, and man, the flavors in this beer are just huge and freaking bumping, man. The difference between this one, the um, Los Mortales coffee, and the fruit flavors that this brings to the table are really what separates the 2013, in my mind, from the 2012 in their fresh states. And, man, it's got like this cherry kind of berry flavor that plays off the bitterness and, and the uh, dark roasted nature of that coffee. Whereas the uh, La Tor Las Tortugas was a bit more acidic and it had an orange zest sort of quality to it. Like if you took an espresso and you put a bit of lime in there or, or a bit of like um, like a blood orange twist into your espresso. And this one is, the di is different. It's more like drinking a Kahlua or a coffee liqueur than this was, one was. The sweet berry taste that come from that, um, I guess, longer maturation of the coffee cherry in this bean play really, really well off the barrel char and the dark roast of the coffee and the sweetness of the bourbon that are left in that wood. And the vanilla and everything just play off of that, man. And I sense from drinking this that it may sell her better than this beer. I wasn't really super happy with this beer with a year on it. Because um, the coffee flavor was all gone, and it basically had turned into a six-month-old Bourbon County brand stout, which isn't a bad thing. But from what it came from until what it went to, where it was like, wow, really a mind blow for me. With this, I think because it's not all roast and darkness and everything, the coffee's got a bit more complexity than the 2012 did. I'm thinking this will sell her better, and I got to hope for this four-pack that I have here waiting for me. That's right. Anyways, guys. What do the other folks think about this? You already know what they think about it. 100 rate beer, 100 beer advocate, and I ain't deviating from that. I'm giving it 100 myself. This is a fucking A-plus beer. It's my favorite bourbon barrel-aged coffee stout, and it's my favorite coffee beer because it's just, man, it's just awesome. If you guys know a better one, send it to me. Tell me what it is. I'll try it because if it's better than this, I definitely want to drink it. This is just a fucking awesome beer. So... To the next time, guys, if you do something really important for me, I'd be happier. Well, I don't know if I can be happier than I am right now, but I'll be pretty happy if you think globally and you drink locally for me and you support the craft beer movement. So guys like Goose Island are inspired to keep making awesome freaking beers like this and sending it out to the world so we can put our happy face on and make our shit day better. That's just what the craft beer thing's all about. So, to the next time, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a million for watching, and I got nothing but a, I don't know, bunch of love for you, and a big-ass peace out!